my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff, you're back with another video. Y'all, I hope this uploads by Sunday. It should. This is my ultimate Sunday dinner, y'all. This is something I come up with about maybe 15 years ago. Y'all know I love oxtails. I love oxtails. And I love fresh peas. I like cream peas, crowded peas. These particular peas I'm using today is fresh purple hub peas. This is my last batch. So the summer's coming. I'm going to restock my freezer in the next couple of months. I love purple hub peas. I love crowded peas. I love creamers. I love those street and zip any kind of zipper peas. I absolutely love. My mama does too. So I always stock up during the summer and during the winter get us through. And I got pulled out my last bag of purple hub peas. Purple hub peas, of course, if you grew up in the country, if you don't not familiar, they have a purple hub. When you shell them, I wish I had a dollar for every purple hub pea I shelled growing up throughout the years. I'd be rich man right now. We grew them, we had to pick them, we had to shell them, and my mama canned them. So yeah. So anyway, the video I'm doing today, I'm combining oxtails with purple hub peas. First thing I need to do is get the oxtails going. Because the purple hub peas take about maybe an hour to cook, but oxtails gonna take a little longer. So first thing I'm gonna do, I wash my oxtails really good, see how pretty they are. Nice and medium pretty. So I'm gonna put them in this pot here and cook them down. Get this get this pot nice and seasoned. So all I'm gonna do is put uh, oxtails in here, put some water here, fill it up with water, salt and pepper, and onions. I'm gonna let this simmer about an hour and a half. So after an hour and a half, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the peas in here. Get this all full up here. All right, turn this on. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in here, and then I'm gonna check my seasoning later. But I like to season a little bit before too. A couple of tablespoons. Salt, salt and pepper. Put my white onions in here. I'm gonna let this boil. When I come back, after an hour and a half. Simmering. They ain't gonna be completely done though. I'm gonna put my uh, put my peas in here, and I got some sweet peppers here. Then I'm gonna add in here. These are not hot. I you let. I'm gonna cut these in fours, and I'm gonna add these in there too. In my uh, can y'all see? Yeah, I'm gonna add my sweet peppers in there too later on. And that's gonna give it a nice color. And I like how these peppers. I discovered these about 10 years ago. I like how they soak up the uh, liquid of the peas. So I'm gonna let these sit out here. I got them all cleaned up. I got a little piece there I need to take out. But got them all cleaned up there. And this is gonna be a good Sunday dinner, y'all. Oxtails with black eyed peas all together with some peppers in there. Seasoned up, got some onions in there. Very simple, but it's a nice one pot meal. And I got me some cornbread. I always keep me some cornbread in the freezer, y'all. That's another tip. I always make a big thing of cornbread. I cut it in pieces and I freeze it. When I want cornbread, I just pull out the pieces as I need it. If I want to make some dressing, I got cornbread in the freezer already. So anyway, we'll be back in about an hour and a half. I'll add my peas to this. And we'll go on to the next step. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay. Take this off of here. And it's been simmering for one hour, y'all. Look what we got here. Look at that. They're not completely done, but they're getting real, real tender. Let me move this so y'all can see. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pour my peas in here. Put my peas in here. But these gotta simmer. It's another hour, y'all. Turn it back up. See that? And I'm gonna put my peppers in here. Move this back over here. I'm pop the end off of here. These peppers, cut them in half. And I like to just throw them in there just like that. I keep the middle, these are not hot, y'all. They're not hot at all. Just cut them in half, just like that. Nice sweet peppers. Yeah, and I keep the middle in there too. It gives it nice color, plus it gives a little flavor too, y'all. A bit more. Mm. 
go in there. You can cut it in fours, or you don't have to put this in here, the peppers, y'all. It's a little tip I've done. Okay. Put that in there. And we're going to let these simmer, y'all. Look at that. Oxtails are almost ready, but they got an hour to go. These peas got an hour to go. And I'm going to let them all simmer together, just like that. Put the top back on them. And about an hour from now, we're going to have a big old pot of uh, purple hull peas and oxtails, y'all, and peppers. So we'll be right back. Smelling good in here, y'all. Okay, y'all, we are back. And our peas and oxtails are ready. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. I'm about to turn these off. These peas are perfectly cooked. So this took about two and a half hours. See how them peppers cooked up in there, y'all? Those oxtails are perfectly tender now. The peas are perfectly cooked. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to put me some in a bowl here. I'm going to take a little thumbnail. Look at that. Look at them oxtails. Ooh, man. There go oxtails there, y'all. Look at that. Let me show you something here. Look at my tongs here. So you got tender this here. Look at that. Um, got tender them here. Look at that. We got meat that just coming off the bone there. And I don't want it to fall off the bone. That's how I want it. That's how I want my oxtails. I didn't want them to fall apart in the in the pot. So like I said, I'm gonna turn this off. And we're gonna be right back here in a second. And we're gonna put some in a bowl here and we're gonna taste them and see how they are. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. We are back here. Y'all know I can't eat this without no hot sauce. And I'm going to be nice. And like I said, I'm not going to pick this up with my fingers. Let's try these peas first. And my cornbread. I got cornbread. Mm, mm, mm. Peas are perfectly tender. I love me some Crowder peas. Purple hub peas. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Or creamer peas. Look at the oxtail there. Hold on. Do it for a second, y'all. See, I'm being nice here. The meat just come off that bone, y'all. Mm. Look at this one. Look at this one here. How meat just, how meat just tender. Oxtail and peas. Mmm. I'm gonna give you a close shot, y'all. Look at that. Mmm. That's what it's all about right here, y'all. I'm sorry, I gotta pick this one up, y'all. Mmm. Excuse my mouth. But you gotta pick oxtail up. And suck on the bone, y'all. I want to do this, huh? And take all them, all the cartilage off of it. Look at that. That's eating there, y'all. I'm sorry, but it's just not a, it's not a dish you probably eat in a restaurant because you gotta pick it up with your fingers. But this is good, this is good eating here. You need a fork and a spoon. And all that pot liquor there. And that flavor that rendered from the oxtails. You're gonna put the put my cornbread in there. Hmm. See you got them peppers. That gives it more flavor. One more bite. I'm gonna close this video out, y'all. Hmm. Like I say later on, I'm gonna pick this oxtail up. I'm cutting it with a fork and a knife, which I never do. But, mmm. Good eating now. Good eating. But anyway, let me close this video out, y'all. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please comment, please subscribe. 
Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag, 2021 Help Somebody Old School Soul Food. So until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.